everybody. Thank you for joining me again for another quick meal with Latoya. So today we are going to be making my famous white chili. Yes, I said white chili. If you don't know what that is, you are about to find out today. It's super delicious. It's a nice cool day. So it's a perfect day for my white chili. And it's really easy. Prep time is about 15 minutes. Takes about 20 minutes to cook everything and put it all together. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is Genio's ground chicken, or you can get ground chicken from any place that you like. I like to mix it with a little bit of Italian style ground turkey sausage to give it a little bit more flavor. These are all of the seasonings that I will be using. And as usual, the recipe will be in the comments. So, I have some celery here, onion and bell pepper, and cilantro mix, and you're going to need these beautiful bush southern white beans. They are so delicious when you put them together in this white chili. So, let's get started. Um, you're also going to need some Italian style cheese to put on the top when it's done. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of my avocado oil in the bottom of my pan, about two tablespoons, so that we can go ahead and cook our vegetables down. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of my chopped vegetables in here. Okay, so we're gonna get that cooking. Get it off nice and hot. And of course, as usual, you guys know I am a flavor holly. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my seasonings, season up my vegetables so that I can add all of that flavor to my ground meat and make sure that everything is nice and seasoned. So I have Italian seasoning. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And again, like I said, the Recipe is going to be in the comments for you guys so you can make this yourself. Instead of chili powder, we're going to use ground cumin. So we're going to use about a tablespoon of that as well. I love cumin. It's really strong and flavorful. And it gives the chili a lot of flavor. So we have white pepper and uh, onion powder so then uh, of course you guys already know that i love mrs dash because i do not like to cook with salt so all of my recipes will include some form of mrs dash and a bunch of different herbs and spices because i do not like cooking with salt so i'm putting in the onion and herb mrs dash the table blend, Mrs. Dash, and the garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash. Do about two tablespoons of that. And a little bit of ground cardamom. Maybe just about a teaspoon of that. So that's all of our seasonings, and we're gonna let that cook down so that the vegetables can absorb all of that flavor. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm so excited about this white chili, and so is my family. They really love it, and I enjoy making it for them. Like I said, it's really quick. It doesn't take a lot of time. The most time is cooking the meat and the vegetables. And that doesn't take that long. So I'm going to go ahead and get my meat cut open so that when my vegetables are done cooking down, I can go ahead and add those to the pot. All right, you guys, I am back. So I'm going to show you these vegetables they have cooked down and they're full of flavor and they're nice and translucent like I want them 
I included the tops of the celery because of course that's where all the flavor is. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in my ground chicken and my ground turkey. We just want to scramble the meat and get it nice and mixed into the vegetables. And then I'm going to use the same seasonings that I seasoned the vegetables with to season my meat as well. I love flavor. And if you guys can smell my house already, it smells so good in here. I'm sure my neighbors are so jealous of all these videos I'm making. They just get to smell it. They don't actually get to taste it. <laughs> so once this is cooked down and all the meat is done, the only thing we have to do after that is add our beans and let it simmer for about 15 minutes so that all of the flavors can blend together and then we can serve it up. So I will be back to show you guys what it looks like once the meat has cooked down and I'm going to show you what it looks like when I am ready to add the beans. Okay, see you in a second. Hi you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this ground chicken and turkey. It is, smells so delicious in here. So uh, as you can see, the meat made a little bit of juice, a little bit of its own stock in the pot, which is awesome. That's where all the flavor is. I seasoned the whole pot again after I put the meat in there. I don't want to keep cooking it too much longer because it is a white meat. It's chicken and turkey. So you don't want it to dry out even though it's made its own juices. So I have all my beans already here in my bowl. And I'm just going to mix them right in to my meat. And these beans are already pre-seasoned as well. They have a little bit of bacon inside of them. So it adds another layer of flavor to the chili. And pretty much all I do from here is just mix it all together and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. And then it's ready to serve. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this simmer and come back and show you guys the finished product. I hope you guys enjoy. Hi you guys, I am back. The chili is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the final product. So good. It smells so good in here, you guys. So, here is our white chili. And I like to garnish it with a little bit of Italian cheese and sour cream and chives. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I like to put the cheese on first. Just a little bit of cheese, give it a little their flavor and some sour cream not too much just a little bit and a few chives and there you have it my famous white chili you guys now you can make it your own you can use whatever beans you like you use great northern beans navy beans cannellini beans any type of beans you like you can even use a different meat if you want to just do turkey or just chicken by itself I like a lot of flavors so I mix it up but make your own leave me some comments below and let me know how you guys liked it and how you guys change it up for yourself thank you again for joining me for another quick meal you guys have a great day